One thing about expectations for Pacific basketball, I always believe every time if we develop our team properly and play smart in team basketball, we have a chance to win the Big West Conference. So we'll maintain that. Uh, we, even though we have a lot of inexperience as far as Division I, I really believe we have the capabilities to develop this team into a championship team. Well, number one, we probably have the fewest points back of any team in Division I basketball. Uh, so we're going to have to develop our scoring. But I, I think our scoring is going to come as a team. Uh, I really believe we have ten guys that can score the basketball. How we piece that together and who's consistent and who develops into a guy that maybe we can count on, uh, that, that'll that take some time. But I believe we have some really good inside scoring. I believe we have some really good outside shooters. And I think we're going to have to do it as a team. And I'm not for sure right now we have one guy that's going to go out and score 18 a game. But I believe we have six guys on our team that can score 20 in a given night. So I think as as we learn about each other, and we just got to allow that, allow that to happen. And I think if we do, I think we have a chance to be more consistent in our team scoring, whether maybe the individuals won't, won't have as much consistency. We've had a few years where we've had inexperience, but never this much. Um, but experience is the easiest thing to gain because you can play games and get experience. Uh, the key is to having good basketball players. And basketball players, you know, there's three areas I always talk about. Athletic ability, which is quickness, and how fast you are and how high you jump. Um, and then skill about passing and shooting and catching. And then toughness. And toughness comes in the physical, emotional, and the mental part. And you have to have two of three of those categories to be a good basketball player. If you have all three, you have a chance to be a great player. And so I think we have a, a team that covers those areas and we have to develop our players to cover those areas also. So um, I'm excited about it. It's been kind of um, refreshing. Um, we have players that are learning, are eager to learn. Uh, players that know that, hey, I have an opportunity to play, start on this basketball team um, and play. But we also have some good players too and good people in our program. And I think as people watch us play and give us a chance to develop as a basketball team, they're going to see a team that really cares about Pacific basketball and cares about being successful and wanting to strive to be the best they can be. Well, right now it's depth. Um, uh, we have a lot. I, I really think we have three players at each position competing for playing time, whether it's a starter or coming off the bench. Um, and I think as the depth happens, that's going to give us strength because I think if, when players don't play as well as they're capable on a given night, we have other players that can step up and get us through that time. Last year, lack of depth was one of the things that really hurt our basketball team. And, and to have more depth is going to be something that's going to be a great strength. Um, but it, you know, to play a lot of players, it takes players that have to get used to that because they're not used to it. All these players played all the minutes on their JC teams or high school teams uh, when they played, and I think that's something they're going to have to get used to, learning how to extend themselves. And instead of playing 30 minutes a night, their players will be playing 15 or 20 minutes a night. Uh, but I think if we put two guys out of position, we have a chance to wear somebody out too once we get playing hard enough, playing physical enough. Um, but the key is can you score outside, can you drive the ball to the basket, and can you score inside. And I think as the season goes on, we're going to be able to do all three of those things. No matter how much you run, there's going to be times where you have to be really good to half court. Uh, NBA games, there's no running in the last four minutes of the game. They, they, it's all about bringing the ball to the court. And, working mismatches, working plays. Um, but I think we want to move the ball. and I think we've always ran on misses and turnovers in the past, but we're looking to run on made baskets when other team scores. That maybe we can get the ball in quickly, get down the court quickly, um, maybe attack teams that maybe don't have the depth. So as we're subbing, maybe we can create uh, you know, mismatch where the last five minutes of the games, maybe somebody are tired, so we go get an offensive rebound or we get an easy basket through the running. Uh, it'll be more exciting for the fans, but also it'll be exciting for our players, and it gives us an opportunity to play more players because right now we want to at least play 10 or 11 or 12 players each game. And that's going to take a little different mindset and uh, something we're working on right now. 
Well, it's been a blessing for me. I mean, Ron starting his 18th or 19th year with me, and um, he's, he's an unbelievable worker in the game of basketball. He's got a great relationship with players, does a great job developing our defense and our post players, um, and has a real stamp on our academics and everything we do in our program. You know, Adam is just a, a dedicated basketball coach that, that loves not only the offense of it, but the individual work and, and really develops with our players. And, and a guy that's not only coached here a long time, but played here for us. So And, and one of the better players ever to play, not only at Pacific, but in the Big West. So uh, And then having Calvin um, with the knowledge he has in our program, but what type of person he is, how he fits in, and kind of makes everything work. And then with Joe Ford having his second year in our program after playing for five years, and a guy that was so unselfish and made all league by scoring six points a game and great defensive player. And then with Matt, you know, that's been in our program being the film director. So having everybody back is really great. Uh, we're all making adjustments to uh, running more in our program and, and, and maybe changing our, de our, our zone defense a little, uh, changing our, our sets a little on offense to, to make it more fit this team. Uh, so anytime we make changes, that's new stuff, and you have to kind of work on that, but we're excited about it.